G'day guys, Jeremy from TacMed Australia. Just want to take a quick minute and make a video and show you the Soft T Generation 4. We're really excited, we've just landed our first shipment of Generation 4. So I just wanted to run through some of the subtle features and changes of the, uh, the Gen 4 compared to the Generation 3 Tourniquet. So firstly, we've only got them in Rescue Orange, but in the next few weeks we'll be starting to land all the other colours. Some of the big changes to the soft tee from uh, Gen 4 from Gen 3 is uh, you can see the windlass. Compared to Generation 3, the windlass is obviously uh, longer. It's around about, I'd say, sort of two centimetres longer and noticeably thinner. Also got a bit of a change in the, uh, the texture of the windlass handle there. So this is made of aircraft aluminium. So it's really lightweight, really strong, and uh, those bad boys certainly aren't going to break on you. The other noticeable difference in the Gen 4 is obviously the, uh, the retention clip. This is really going to make it uh, a whole bunch easier for the single-handed self-application of the soft tee. And that was probably one of the only real complaints people gave uh, the soft tee versus the, uh, the cat tourniquet. So I'll just show you how that, um, how big a difference that makes with a single-handed self um, application. So before I do the single-handed self application, I just wanted to show you a bit of a setup that I used to make. So we used to have set up our tourniquet so it would have a really large loop to apply it. Um, after talking with uh, with Dana, who was a Los Angeles Sheriff County SWAT medic for 25, 30 years, he was telling me how he will set up his tourniquet to have only a small loop, enough that you can place it over your own arm. The reason being it only needs to fit over your arm for self-application, because for anybody else, you're simply gonna reroute it, and it's less to uh, it's less to do up there. And I'll give you a demonstration on a tourniquet leg uh, now. So obviously for my guns, I'm not gonna need a, uh, a large amount of, uh, of loop. All right, I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration now of a single-handed self-application. So I'm going to say my left arm has been uh, severely injured and this is again mainly going to be 99% of the time for people in a tactical setting. So my arm's been injured, get my tourniquet, okay, make sure the tail is towards my heart, through that over the limb, pull out all the slack, so there's no slack in that. I'm just going to turn the windlass, lock it into the retention device. And then again, now I've got the triangle retention there to lock that in. So that's as simple as it is. Let's do a radial pulse. No radial pulse there. Cap refill. Really slow cap refill. So there we go. As you can see, that retention device with the thinner and longer windlass has made a massive difference to the self, single-handed self-application of the soft tee tourniquet. Okay, if applying the, uh, the tourniquet to someone else, um, again, we can have just this small amount of, uh, of loop on the, uh, on the soft tee. And we've got the quick release buckle, which is gonna make it easier. Now, some people we see struggling trying to push it out like that, whereas the easiest, way to undo the buckle is just to rotate it and twist it out like that. So it's really simple, just un untwist it like that. So having this amount of slack, okay, so we get to our kaji, I'm just gonna twist the buckle, and place it around, and as I bring it around, in like that, hold the windlass, take out all the slack, I'm gonna turn the windlass. Okay, that's a ton. Lock it in the retainer, and then I've got my secondary backup with the tri the locking triangle. Thanks for watching this video on the uh, Generation 4 Soft T Tactical Wide. If you've got any other questions, feel free to comment below, or you can drop us an email at Attack Med Australia. Thanks, guys.